Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. Tomorrow, April 26, 2023, write this on your calendar, is none other than Alien Day 2023. A day in which we dedicate to the Alien franchise as a whole. And for the first time in three or four years, we might actually be getting stuff. <laughs> we haven't had stuff on Alien Day since 2019, uh, likely because 2019 was the 40th anniversary for the 1979 Alien movie. Now, 2020, 21, 22 were pretty bare. I mean, some things were announced, some things happened, but not a whole lot, not like 2019. And Alien Days before 2019 were pretty strong, if I remember as well. So. Three, four years later, we are back, hopefully. And I use hopefully deliberately because what I'm going to be talking about in this video, for a large, for the large part, may not be true whatsoever. We don't even know if this is leaked. This is just pure speculation. Basically what happened is about a few months ago, I'd say two months ago, somebody on Reddit, I think this spawned from Reddit, posted a bullet list of release dates and announcements and teasers, all the stuff that's going to be happening uh, tomorrow on Alien Day. And then I think the user deleted himself or somebody deleted him, I don't know. And then this started floating around the internet to different Facebook groups. And uh, here we are wondering if any of it is true. So what I want to do first is go over what I know is happening. And a lot of what I'm going to talk about right now you'll see in tomorrow's big Alien Day video, which I still have a lot of filming for that to do. So I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record tomorrow, but bear with me. So let's start with all the game sales. Uh, Xbox, the Microsoft Store, has one game on sale. Alien Isolation, the collection, is $10. Uh, I don't own it on the Xbox or the Microsoft Store, so I'm probably just going to pick that up. I already have credit on my account, so I'll just go in on the collection, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe Alien Isolation is FPS boosted on the Xbox, or at least the Series X. I don't know about Series S or anything, so uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good deal, and frankly, uh, if somebody, you know, if they were to re-release the game for these next-gen consoles and say, here's, you know, pay a 60 bucks, I'd, I'd probably still do it because that game is just perfection. Or if you don't want the collection for 10 bucks, they just have the, uh, the base game here for uh, $7.99. So on the PlayStation side, I actually want to start with something that's not Alien, but Predator. Predator Hunting Grounds, I'm looking at uh, the PlayStation Store here. Not all the DLC are on sale, but a few of them are. Uh, I know the DLC bundle, if you don't own it, is 50% off, $9.99. The uh, Hunting Grounds Hunting Party DLC bundle is also 50% off at $4.99. The Hunting Party uh, DLC bundle 2, 50% off, $3.49. And I believe the, that's right, Hunting Party 3 is also that same price, $4.99 at 50% off which I'll probably pick these up. I'm really behind on all the Hunting Grounds DLC. And by the way, I highly doubt this is on sale because of Alien Day or Alien Week. They just happen to be on sale, I guess. Uh, so if you're not caught up like me, uh, maybe now's the time to start. So like Xbox, Alien Isolation is also on sale at actually better deals. The collection is $7.99. Uh, the base game is $5.99 and the season pass is also $5.99. I wish, wish Xbox would do that. Uh, I believe the DLCs for this individually are not on sale. I think they're full price. So um, honestly, if you don't own the game, you might as well just get the collection. So I, I don't think that would matter too much. And the other thing is, unfortunately, Aliens Fireteam Elite is not on sale on the PlayStation Store. So if you're looking to play it on your PS5, PS4, uh, unfortunately it's still, uh, you know, full price, which sucks. Again, you're going to hear me talk about this a little bit throughout the video. 
This may not be the case today, but uh, sales might start popping up tomorrow. You don't know. I'm making it seem like Alien Day is such a big deal when it isn't. Uh, but you never know, you know. Just check up on the day itself and you never know. Something might pop off at some kind of discount. And if you're wondering, Aliens vs. Pinball is not on sale on either uh, Xbox here or PlayStation. Although I think the demo, yeah, the, there's a demo for Aliens vs. Pinball on PlayStation. But do you know who has Aliens vs. Pinball on a discount, on sale? That's right, Steam does. So that's right, Steam is actually properly celebrating Alien Day with week-long sales. Keep in mind, all these sales go away, they expire. Uh, once April 26th tomorrow is done for, so you have until the end of the day, I'm guessing midnight, to uh, get all this stuff. But yeah, <laughs> Aliens vs. Pinball, it is $3.99 apparently. I already own this, I got it back in 2019, admittingly. Predator Hunting Grounds, no sale for Steam. I was a little disappointed at that, but it's not his days. It's the Aliens day, it's the Xenos day. Alien Isolation is on sale, I already own it. The base game is $7.99, the collection is 10 bucks, just like Xbox. The season pass is $3.99. But the cool thing with Steam is that the individual DLC are on sale. I think almost all of them are $1.59, a few of them are $0.79. Cents. So uh, if you're you know, one of those people who are missing one or two of the uh, DLCs, yeah, now's the time. Aliens vs. Predator, the 2010 game, one of the greatest, just so you know. The collection is $4.79. I'd pay full price, let's be honest. This game is just... God, I love this game. This game is just immaculate. Yeah, so the, uh, the collection includes the two map packs, which unfortunately multiplayer isn't active anymore. They shut down the servers, but I think people are still hosting their own. And the base game is $2.99, so I would go in on that. On the other side of the spectrum, a game that I actually like, not a lot of people do. I understand why, but it is what it is. Aliens Colonial Marines. All right, so the whole collection is $5.99. That's 80% off. Now, I'm looking at the individual DLCs here. All of them say not applicable. I don't know if that's because I... Uh, I own the collection, it doesn't show me individual prices, or if they're not uh, able to be purchased. So I have no clue, but regardless, the collection is on sale for uh, $5.99. If you don't own any of those games and want all of them and all their DLC, there is an Alien Bundle, which pretty much each game's 80% off. So uh, Isolation, the collection's 10 bucks. AVP the collections $4.79 and Colonial Marines is $5.99. So if you want all three in one shot, uh, the bundle's live. Okay, so quick sidetrack. This is Jimmy from the future. I forgot to mention the Aliens Fireteam Elite Steam Sale. I can't believe I forgot to mention this. Uh, if you want the base game, it is currently 60% off at $11.99. Into the Hive Edition is $15.99. And the Ultimate Edition is $33.48. Uh, the thing about Ultimate Edition is that it does not include the Hardened Marine Pack, which is $3.19 at 20% off. In fact, all of the individual DLC packs are, uh, are marked down. Some 50, some 30, some 20% off. So uh, peruse those um, if you're missing a few. Also, if you are familiar with Humble Bundle, uh, typically for you know PC gamers they are actually also celebrating Alien Day sales up to 95% off I am not gonna go through absolutely everything here the majority of it seems to be alien isolation stuff although uh, AVP the collection is 479 and a colonial Marines the collection is 599 so again check this out if you're interested God, isn't it just great to see Alien Day Sale presented by 20th Century Games just front and center on Steam? I wish it was all 
all year long. Poor me. Uh, Aliens Dark Descent. Look at this guy over here. So, there are some gameplay trailers for this. Um, I've checked them out, and it certainly looks interesting. I played games like this when I was younger, uh, this genre, and I actually have very fond memories of them. So, the game intrigues me. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting something along the lines of uh, Colonial Marines when this was very first announced. No, that is not at all the case, but I really, really like how it looks. It One thing I was saying in, I think, tomorrow's video, because I filmed that obviously before this, is uh, all these games seem to always nail the design. I don't know what it is. They always look so gosh darn good. I mean, I'm watching the video right now of the Marines, uh, you know, traversing through the, uh, through the alien's nest, and it's just so cool looking. But... Steam says this has a release date of June 20th, 2023. And so it even says the game plans to unlock in approximately eight weeks. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe AVP Galaxy said that supposedly there's going to be pre-order DLC content for this. Uh, as of right now, for Steam at least, the game is not up for pre-order. Um, I don't remember exactly what the article was talking about. Obviously, go check out avp galaxy for that um by the way shout out to avp galaxy they do the hard work i'm a peasant they do the real work and hey hey man if you guys are watching let's work together but uh yeah so aliens dark descent steam says yes yeah, so june 20th 2023 uh this is where the shady stuff comes into play if you look at this obviously very uh official looking Reddit post, Alien Day 2023 announcements. Again, this was the thing that was floating around everywhere. Made it to my group, too. Thanks to me. I'm a bad influence. All right, Alien franchise announcements that are being prepared for Alien Day 2023, April 26th. Again, take this all with a grain of, a grain of salt. None of this may happen. Alien's Dark Descent release date gameplay trailer. Okay, so we... I don't know exactly where they got that information. We might be getting another gameplay trailer. I don't know. Uh, Steam has a release date. I don't know if it's going to be updated if this is true, but supposedly we might be seeing more from Dark Descent tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, Fireteam Elite. Aliens Fireteam Elite. Supposedly we're going to be getting an announcement of free DLC. I don't know if... See, this is why you really want to take this with a grain of salt. It's that word free. It doesn't happen a lot. Uh, and supposedly will release within two months of the announcement. That's Discord. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe. Maybe. I can see Fireteam Elite doing something for Alien Day. Some announcement, but I don't know. Hopefully it's free. <laughs> That's better for us. Yeah, and uh, if you look here on AVP Galaxy, something, again, I forgot to mention... Uh, it says, new Aliens Fireteam Elite Horde map to release alongside Switch port on Alien Day 2023. It looks like uh, Cold Iron tweeted about this to celebrate Fireteam Elite coming on Switch. We'll be launching a free update for all platforms, tackle the Horde in the new Terminal Containment map, and unlock new gun skins and decals too. So that's pretty cool if you play the game. You might be interested in that as well. Okay, and there's also some kind of Aliens VR gameplay trailer. Uh, I've heard things about the Alien VR thing. I'm personally not a fan of VR. I've tried it. It's certainly interesting, uh, but not my cup of tea. And to tell you the truth, I don't even know if Aliens can get me on board with something like that. I get very sick when I put those headsets on. Just me. And I don't want to, uh, you know have a simulation of a nightmare but okay so supposedly we may be getting some kind of release or excuse me a uh, uh, trailer for it another trailer I don't know so keep your eyes peeled for that if you are into VR if this even happens I don't know uh, dead by daylight we may be getting another chapter this time alien themed for a May June release supposedly I don't play dead by daylight 
everybody I know tells me to play Dead by Daylight. I feel bad for not playing Dead by Daylight, especially since it is promoted to me on every screen I seem to look at, every console. It's pretty much everywhere, and it seems like my cup of tea. I don't know why I haven't tried it yet, but we possibly will be getting an alien-themed chapter uh, revealed tomorrow. Who knows? The release of a new Marvel Alien comic alongside the announcement of a new one. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't checked out the uh, Marvel Alien stuff yet. I know they've been pushing out those omnibuses uh, pretty aggressively, but I haven't checked out that Alien run yet. So, people tell me it's okay. So, who knows? New merch announcements, new toys, clothing, and statues. Who knows? Typically in the past, companies would start teasing their Alien Day merch ahead of time. I personally haven't seen anything from Reebok, from NECA, uh, or even Fright Rags, for that matter. Although, I do believe Cavity Colors, uh, uh, by the time this video goes up on the 25th, will have AVPTs for sale. So, go check out Cavity Colors. Uh, I looked at some of their shirts there. Some pretty cool designs, so... But yeah, I don't know about any other merch. We might be seeing stuff tomorrow. I hope so. Uh, my bet is maybe NECA will do something. Maybe not a reveal of a new figure, but at least a tease for something coming. Or they'll just show more turtles, because <laughs> that's, that's what they do now. Small teasers for the Alien TV series. Nothing big on this one, this mysterious individual says. Uh... I have high hopes for this series. If I'm not mistaken, we did get a poster. I don't know. Uh, there's been so many fan posters sent to me, I, I don't know what is real anymore. <laughs> they all look very cool, by the way. Uh, the showrunners, the, the dude who did uh, Fargo, Noah Hawley, I think. So I have high hopes. It takes place on Earth. I hope we see something tomorrow, but who knows. Uh, same goes with the Fede Alvarez Aliens Romulus movie. I have no clue if we'll be seeing anything, considering that's barely started production. But who knows? We might get a poster or something. I don't know. But that pretty much wraps up this really shady bullet point list of stuff that might happen. I hope it all happens, but probably not. Let's be honest. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about in today's video is actually related to Fireteam Elite. I forgot to mention this earlier. If you own a Nintendo Switch, you might be somewhat enticed. I was, for a minute. Aliens Fireteam Elite is coming digitally to the Nintendo Switch. Sort of. Kind of. It's a cloud version. It's not a proper port like Alien Isolation was, and that thing was ported flipping beautifully. It looked better than the PS4 one, I'm not even kidding. Uh, you can try out the uh, Fireteam Elite demo now, if you want, on the eShop. I am a sucker, you know. Listen, look around you. Clearly, things are just out of control, so I ended up ordering it. Uh, I had credit on my account already from years ago. Uh, I think it's stuck around because I almost never buy anything from the eShop. Really, the only thing I play on the console is uh, uh, Zelda. So, I actually had 60 bucks from uh, a, a gift I got many years ago. So, I just I pre-ordered it, pre-loaded it. So, you'll actually see that in tomorrow's video. I'm going to play the demo and everything. So. And interestingly enough, if you want the Ultimate Edition, of Fireteam Elite on the Nintendo Switch, it does not include the Endeavor Pack. So do keep that in mind. That's an extra extra couple bucks. I forgot exactly how much, but I, uh, I wanted to have it said. All right. I think that is pretty much it. We have a bunch of shady announcements. We have some cool stuff like Fireteam Elite and a bunch of game sales and I hope possible merch will come about. Uh, keep in mind that I'm filming this on the 24th. Tomorrow this goes up the 25th. On the 25th, after this goes up, we may have announcements. I don't know. From little companies here and there. Uh, 
and I won't have time to make a video for that, unfortunately. Unless I force myself, in which case, uh, well, sucks for me. And again, a big video coming out for me tomorrow. My Alien Week adventures, really. I've been filming every day for the last four days already. <clears throat> I'm going to finish up tonight and tomorrow, edit it tomorrow night, and have it ready for the 26th. So, it's, a, it's been a pretty good week. It's been a pretty good week. Uh, is there anything else I want to talk about? Anybody? Nobody else is here. Son of a bitch. Go check out Trophy Room on Facebook, a Facebook community group created by yours truly, made for alien predator fans and collectors like yourselves. Feel free to post about the movies, the comics, your collections, the toys, whatever. Anything and anything alien predator related. Same goes for our Discord server, which is also called Trophy Room. And everything I just said applies to that. And I'll leave a link down below. Those links tend to expire because Discord is just a fantastic place. If so, message me. I reply to everybody. And I'll give you the link. If you're the type of chap that does not care about Alien Predator or also likes other stuff like me, go check out The Sanctuary on Facebook. And yours truly does a toy show every week for The Sanctuary on YouTube every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show, where you talk about everything. Pop culture, that's probably some inappropriate stuff in there too. Uh, yeah, go check us out. We are on our 240 something episode. We've been doing this like over five years. It's been a while, so come check us out. And as always, have a good morning, evening, midday, whatever, and take care. Ha 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 